Hey Tackle Wrestling fans, Jake here with this week's episode of What's New at TW. We're into mid-October, it's cooling down. Uh, hopefully you're getting out to enjoy some a little bit more peaceful time on the water. A little bit less people out there fishing, more people out in the woods right now. But right now, since it's cooling off, now is a great time to take advantage of the bite. The fish really start to feed heavy before winter sets in. And now is a great time to catch some really, really big ones as well. And if you want to go out and catch some big ones, especially some of my anglers out there in California, you know we're all itching for those uh, trout stocking trucks to show up and the bass start feeding on those stocked uh, rainbows. So new reel from Daiwa. This is the new Lexa 300, just a, a legacy series of reels. The Lexa's been around for a long, long time and they're proven big bait, uh, you know, heavy duty size reel. So the new 300, there's a new 300 and a new 400. Uh, they, you know, revamped the, the older style Lexa, but super, super strong reel. All aluminum body, aluminum frames, so they're rock solid. Uh, hardened brass, uh, main gear and pinion gear. So, I mean, these things dish out a ton of power with the drag system, the, uh, the ultimate tournament drag system in there. It's pumping out 22 pounds of drag. So more drag than you would ever need for bass fishing. These things, I mean, I've seen guys out on um, sport boats using them for bluefin tuna, yellowtail, yellowfin, and putting a serious amount of pressure on these things and landing some really, really big fish. So if you're looking for a reel for your big swim baits, glide baits, the big soft baits, looking for something for maybe umbrella rigs, even big magnum crank baits, these will excel with, you know, 10 XTs and stuff like that. Phenomenal reel if you need a big uh, heavy duty reel. Um, they got different um, handle configurations. So depending on the gear ratio that you get, you can either get the double power handle, the double paddle with the nice EVA foam knobs on there, or you can get it with a, a single power handle. So depending on what you're looking for, they probably got you covered in the new Lexus series 300 and 400s from Daiwa. All right, new swim bait here from, from Savage Gear. Not really necessarily a new swim bait. This is the Cannibal Shad. This is kind of a, a revamped version of actually Mads from Savage Gear. This was the first bait he ever designed for Savage Gear. And it has caught tons and tons of fish. And recently, somebody just caught a world record Wells catfish on this thing. So a uh, really unique swim bait. From the tail design, you can see it's super thin in relation to the to the body up here. The way it's, it's super thin down here and segmented, I mean, that thing bends all the way over. And the swimming action on this swim bait is awesome. Uh, we got some footage of it at iCast and not only does it kick really well, I mean, there's a tremendous amount of body roll on this swim bait. So, I mean, a lot of swim baits that people are throwing, especially the ring body style swim baits, you know, they don't have too much body roll with them. You know, just a side to side kick. This is gonna give you that kick and that aggressive side to side body roll. That's gonna give you a little bit more flash and just a little bit different action to catch a few more fish. Uh, rig it up on any of your favorite swim bait heads. You can rig it on the uh, screw lock style hooks, a bunch of different stuff you can do with it. And now the new colors, they're, they're triple injected colors, so there's got some really cool, uh, unique colorways in there. And then they're made out of a really durable plastic. So they make this thing for catching pike and, and perch and, and xander, walleye, all kinds of stuff like that. So they hold up to the toothy fish. So it's gonna be phenomenal for bass fishing. You'll be able to catch a ton of fish per bait. And they have scent infused into the plastic as well. Next up, a new lime. Uh, one I talked about with Michael Neal uh, about this line at, at iCast as well. So this is new Model FC from Sunline. So this is more of your entry level fluorocarbon lime. So if you're curious about maybe trying some fluorocarbon out, these all come in the 110 yard spool. So a little bit smaller spool. So if you're backing, you can get a couple of, uh, you can fill up a couple of reels with it, but, uh, but lower price point, they're only like 12, 10 or 12 bucks for the spool. But uh, this Model FC, it's gonna be a little bit softer have a little bit more stretch than some of your other uh, higher end fluorocarbons on the market. So it makes it easier transition if you fish mono, copolymer, and you're curious about trying fluorocarbon, you know, line that sinks, uh, you know, has a little bit better abrasion resistance, a little bit more sensitive. Uh, Model FC is gonna be the way to go. And just overall, you don't, you're not jumping into one of those 20 to $30 spools right out of the gate. If you just wanna try fluorocarbon, uh, it needs something that's got maybe a little bit uh, more stretch, a little bit better castability, and a little bit easier to manage, especially on spinning reels. Model FC is the way to go. All right, couple, uh, a couple reintroductions, actually. So from Bogerman, the Magnum uh, Buzzbait. This was actually the first Buzzbait, one of the first Buzzbaits I ever bought. I actually bought this from Tackle but over 10 years ago before I even worked here. Still have it to this day. Um, this is a phenomenal Buzzbait. We're super stoked that we got these back here at Tackle Warehouse. So they have this 
this unique head shape that actually drives the bait up to keep it up on the surface. And then that oversized blade on there. So a giant blade. Uh, this thing really spits and churns a ton of water. And then the frame on here, it's a super strong frame, but it does have some flex to it. So you can bend the frame up if you don't want the, the blade to clack against the head, or you can bend it down if you really want to get that loud clacking action, super loud, aggressive, and really call fish from a, from a long ways away. The fall is probably one of the best times to throw a buzzbait and cover water. And right now, you know, that if you're, if you're dealing with dirty water and you're really trying to call those fish from a, a longer distance, try out the old Bogerman uh, Magnum buzzbait. From Molex, like I said, a couple reintroductions. This one here is their Juggalo spoon. This is this is one that we used to have, you know, when I first started working here, and uh, it catches a ton of fish in freshwater and saltwater. So we finally just got these back. A few guys in the office are super stoked they got these back because uh, when I first started working here, we were using these a lot, uh, kayak fishing inshore, catching tons of rockfish, big cabazon, big lingcod. I've seen a bunch of really big fish caught on this little spoon. So it's a really thin profile. So it really mimics those thinner bait fish, especially in the ocean. We've been out there and, and everything's targeted, you know, really small anchovies or other types of bait fish. And that thinner profile seems to really work and really help trigger those bites from fish that are being super picky. Uh, so if you're looking for a small spoon, you know, you can cast it really far. It gets a great erratic, erratic action on the, on the retrieve, or you can vertical jig this one as well. Now, in addition to that, Mullix just got just got us the Juggalo Wide. So if you're looking for something, you know, you can cast this bait as well, but this one's gonna have a little bit slower of a fall with that wider body. Um, you know, from the top half, you know, it does have that same, that really similar shape, but with that wider belly on it, this thing's gonna have a little bit slower flutter, especially if you're dealing with maybe some colder water and you're trying to vertical jig fish and you want a little bit slower fall, this might be the one you wanna go towards. And it comes with an assist hook up on the nose. So especially in the winter time, fish can be super, super picky and you know, they just nip at the bait. Having a hook on both ends is definitely gonna help you hook and land a few more of those fish. From longest baits, uh, this is one we, you know, we just got in, super excited about this one. This is the new B Cross. So a lot of companies, especially the, the Japanese companies are coming out with these you know, heavy density, small stick baits. There's a whole category of these style of baits hitting the market now. These baits are small, compact, and they're loaded with salt. So they're made to sink really, really quickly and you fish them down on the bottom, you drag them around on, a, on an EWG or a screw lock style hook and you know, even heavy tackle, you know, 16, 20 pound line with, uh, you know, with a jig rod or even a flipping stick. What I like about this version is they have that, that silicone that's going through the middle of the body and you're kind of gonna get a little bit more action out of it. Most of the ones out, on, out there on the market don't have anything any appendages or anything protruding out the side. They want it to sink fast and, you know, they roll and kind of quiver and don't have a ton of flapping action or anything like that. But with just that little bit of silicone, it's not really gonna hinder that, that fast sinking action, but you're gonna still gonna get some, a little bit more movement than some of the other ones out there on the market. Excited to try this one out. I mean, they really captured that crawdad look, um, super highly detailed with the ribbing and the eyeballs and stuff on there. Uh, if, you, if you've been throwing those, those high density, small stick baits, this is gonna be another one you wanna check out. Just a little bit different look, maybe a little bit more action. All right, last but definitely not least, from Leland Lures, we got all kinds of crappie magnet stuff. So I know a lot of people have been asking us to get and you know, carry the crappie magnet gear and we just got it in stock. And I just grabbed a handful of them, but we have a ton more than this. So, uh, you know, we have the, the, all the types of little swim baits, uh, the ones with the straight tails, uh, little split tail ones, uh, tons of different colors. And then we have a kit. I mean, you can buy these kit. I think it's a hundred and over a hundred piece kit with a bunch of different uh, little, little soft plastics in there with floats, jig heads, everything you need for crappie fishing. And then one of the things that, that is super unique to these baits, these crappie magnet baits is we have uh, quite a few jig heads that have that little hole right through the middle. And it's made to hold these little slab bites inside there. So you can pack it with these, little, uh, uh, with these little slab bites and then you're gonna get scent that's gonna slowly disperse out the middle of the jig head. Super, super cool. I know some of us in the office, you know, we're, we're a little bit you know, uh, less educated on the crappie fishing and uh, super stoked that we finally got some of this stuff in that a lot of people have been asking for for us to carry and now we got it in stock. So if you do a lot of crappie fishing, we got the crappie magnet baits for you. That's gonna wrap up today's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. For more information, 
or to purchase any of the products seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most excited about.